<laughs> Hello, my name is Oli and you're watching BodyMod.TV. Okay, I'm at EPTPI. This is day three. And behind me is Industrial Strength International. And JD here is from California, so we're going to do a quick interview with them and show you their product line. Oh my god, why hello? Hey, what's up? <laughs> here we are in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess just tell me about uh, yourself, your company, your jewelry. Let's start with that. Alright, I'm JD Lorenz, I'm the owner of Industrial Strength Body Jewelry. We've been making body jewelry in uh, California for uh, going on 19 years and we're here doing our convention here in Italy showing off our wares to our Italian brethren <laughs> <laughs> had a beer uh, this is Ava Ava Loveless Hi. she also makes amazing paintings she's an artist uh, from the United States lives in Holland now in Amsterdam and she and her husband uh, Jonathan Loveless the man behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, they own and operate uh, Industrial Strength there he International. Is. <laughs> Doing there he important is. work. Mr. I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese fish. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's about it. Uh, We've got some beers. That's not about it. You have to say that all of the jewelry is in See, the responsible threaded. one comes in action. <laughs> The jewelry is all internally threaded. We use Swarovski uh, enlightened gems, which are the finest synthetic gems that you can get in our jewelry. Cubic zirconia. There's no glue in our jewelry. It's all set stone. Come on, say the important <laughs> stuff, guys. Uh, it's all made in Southern California, in the United States. We have a state-of-the-art machine shop. Yeah, Swiss machines make really small parts. Like these. Really tiny. <laughs> Our style of body jewelry is sort of uh, a mix between traditional body jewelry and we've sort of taken a turn into the sort of more traditional settings and prong settings uh, with the, but it's all machined out of titanium where normally it would be cast in gold or, or you know like normal jewelry is we machine it from solid bar stock so you make all your own jewelry we make all of our own jewelry yes okay. we, we don't import any of our jewelry from anywhere it's all 100 percent made manufactured in uh, Carlsbad California well, you four miles from the beach baby <laughs> Great. I think he did that on purpose all of the Borneo Joe items are made by Borneo Joe that aren't here he's an American guy who lives in Bali and has his own business but there's none of his stuff here yeah I know but it's in the catalog <laughs> It's in the catalog. Yeah, do you sell more stuff than what's just shown here Can on the table? Fight? Yeah. <laughs> this is a small portion of the products that are sold by Industrial Strength. It would be impossible How much for me to bring this all. Do you have? Oh. John? How many different parts did she wrote on the If you look at all the different parts, links, gauges, it adds up to something like uh, 40,000 different individual items that we that we actually make. If you factor in stone colors, titanium colors, different sizes, diameters, then you're talking 187,000 different options possible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All made in the United States. Why did you start it? Uh, I was a body piercer back in the early, early 90s and did body piercing uh, like back in high school, back in the early 80s. 19, I pierced my nose in 1984 and I had all my ears pierced up through the early mid 80s because punk rock. In fact, that was one of the reasons I made the jewelry back then is because to buy one captive hoop from the gauntlet wholesale was what, like 20 bucks. I think anybody, it was like $20. Did anybody see HTC's old catalog when wholesale captives were like $30? Yeah. So how much does the wholesale captive cost now? Uh, a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't put that on. There. <laughs> Why? That's what they. Oh well. I guess if. Yeah, when people are selling them to the customers. All you the retail public. customers out there, you didn't hear that dollar thing. <laughs>
it's a dollar in material, and then you got to factor in the labor and the love and the infrastructure. So they're much more valuable than that. AKA the middleman. <laughs> no, really, the shops who are selling you that same ring for twenty dollars. They really do a lot to get that ring to the case. How about this? How can you, what would you give for advice to people that are buying jewelry, like the end customer, in regards to finding quality jewelry? Because there's so much crappy, like Taiwanese, Chinese crap on the market. How can they tell the difference between good and bad jewelry? Well, one of the main reasons, one of the main things would be finding out from the shop owner uh, the, what the what the jewelry is actually made out of, mm -hmm. and shops, most shops will have a material cert, cert that will tell you that the the material being used is medical implant grade versus just industrial type uh, type metals. Uh, the other things to look for um, is just the workmanship. Generally, you would need a loop. Where's the loop? Let me grab a loop. There's one right there. You know, use an, use an eye loop uh, anywhere from 3 to 10 power, basically a magnifying glass. And you can actually go and look. Look at the parts, make sure that the, all the surfaces are polished, all the corners and things uh, are polished. So there's no scratches, no pitting. Uh, That's what sets industrial strength and other companies like it apart from other companies is the hand polishing. And it'll be very smooth like glass and that's very important so it doesn't harbor bacteria and uh, speeds up the like healing that. process. All of our jewelry is pretty much made to order. Yeah. It's not, it's, it is mass, we do, we do mass produce it but we don't, uh, it's not just laying around. When, when somebody places an order a lot of the times the jewelry will still have to have the stone set. You know, we set the stones by hand to order. Uh, uh, there's just a lot of things that go into it. So do you sell directly to customers or do you deal strictly wholesale? Do We're you only both? wholesale. Only wholesale? Only wholesale. Where can people go to find, like who's selling your stuff so that they can go and get it? Um, there's a list of your retailers uh, on your website. Sure. There's uh, body art forms. Mm -hmm. Uh, Steel Naval, Industrial Strength International sells at retail in Europe. Okay. Uh, you can also call Industrial Strength at their 1 800 number and they will give you a list of the shops in your area that you can go to and that sell their jewelry. BME Shop sells uh, and Exotic Body. Dot com sells it. And that's it. We don't sell to very many. Uh, uh, Retailers, online retailers. Mm -hmm. It upsets our wholesale <laughs> brick and mortar shops. Did you see there's a big thing. There's a big thing between that that, yeah. that uh, really upsets certain people. So. <laughs> what else can we tell you? Um, beer's good. Beer's good. The beer's good. <laughs> beer's good. Beer's pretty good. It's uh, this, uh, before noon on Sunday. I guess that's about it. Cool. Sounds good, man. Thanks. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so that's Industrial Strength Body Jewelry at APTPI. JD, Jonathan, awesomeness. Bunch of hippies.